Welcome back everybody to another package opening. I've got a couple boxes here with some more GoGo's figures. You guys have been used to the format by now. Hopefully you've been enjoying the packages and leave a comment down below if you have so I can keep doing these. Some very cool old school guys in here, some new gen, some ghosts, some other cool ones that I just notably wanted to snag off eBay. So let's uh, go ahead and check these out. All right, we're gonna start with, I think this little tiny box here. I basically got this lot because there were a few cool figures, but there was one in particular that I just had to have my hands on. Basically, it's one of my favorite figures from the OG Classic series, and I was like, oh man, this is a cheap enough lot to where I just want to grab this figure because it looks super dope. Let's grab these out. They're all wrapped up weirdly in this bag. Okay, there's a couple, you know, nice little McDonald's ones in here and stuff. I don't even know how they really taped this. People have been going ham on the packaging front with these Go-Go's lately. All right, let's dump them out here. Again, some nice, simple McDonald's ones. I believe I have this one already, but again, I didn't get the lot for these. These are just kind of little bonuses, which is nice, but we got a nice black cat, Lucky from the McDonald's series. Very cool. We got a nice black Drax here. Very sharp, very sharp. And then we even got a nice glow-in-the-dark chef which he looks pretty sweet. I don't think I have a glow-in-the-dark chef, so that's pretty nice. Again, not a very big lot. This was kind of like, I think it was like $8 overall for like all these figures. We got a couple nice classics. I believe all these are pretty much classics. We got like one things in here, not a big deal. A few more in that nice like neon yellow. Big fan of that coloring. We also have some in a nice jelly translucent form of the yellow. Very nice, I love this guy. He looks awesome. This is a really clean figure too, actually. A really weird glitter one. I, I don't know how to feel. It's like a flesh, flesh tone, crazy bone. Really weird, but it's a, it's a little glitter looking one. It's cool, it's not one I have. I don't have a lot of this color. And just a couple more. Again, just all from the classic series. It was a good little pickup, but here, let me show you why I really got the lot. Bang, look at this menace. An awesome looking metal menace or toothpaste metal menace. It's like a gold coloring with all that marbling on it. It looks amazing. Can I get some better light for this guy? There we go. Check him out. He just looks so freaking sweet. The texture and everything on this is just awesome. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so sick. That is a very particular one that I would love to have in my edition of awesome looking menaces one of my favorites from the classics again so this is a really nice pickup i'm happy with it it was a nice little lot just to get some extra classic series figures and this guy is just phenomenal looking so cool so sharp all right now we got this box over here so let me open up this one a very nice lot of a bunch of really cool new gen and ghosts and all that we've got some nice like megas in here too i'm really excited to look through this one so let's do just that oh my okay well, let's check out some of these megas because they look particularly slippery i guess but <laughs> these little monster dudes are so cool this guy's awesome i'd love to like do a paint job on him or something and this guy looks really sweet too. That's Those are nice though, those are nice. Uh, not the reason why I got the lot, obviously. We have other reasons, but these are just a little welcome bonus. Is this a corn guy or something? I don't know, one of these mega bone dudes are like a piece of corn and it's really stupid and dumb. Uh, but another cool figure here. I, I never noticed that like he's got scars on his head. That's pretty funny. He's goofy. I don't know if I like him, but I better decide because I did get two more of him. This one's like in shambles. Like what the hell is going on with the comparison here of all three of these? It just looks crazy different. Wow, the production was vastly different on all these. That's pretty wild. We have a couple things. We have a couple mutants and stuff. I'm just gonna not worry about those for this episode because we've been seeing those lately. So not too worried and there's not very many of them. Okay, cool. Here's all the mutants and buddies and things that we got. Not a lot, again, but the rest of these are super, super cool new gen guys, which is amazing. I'm going to kind of highlight over the ones that we just haven't really seen yet. This is an awesome, like, pink one. We got this ghosty, which I don't have this guy, actually. That looks phenomenal. I love that orange. 
Man, he like super slick. I love the Frank Ghost. The Frankie Ghost is amazing. And yeah, this one just looks absolutely, give me a better, there we go, a little bit better. Frankie in the orange, absolutely amazing. I could collect this one all day in every color variant. I wouldn't care. Another monster, I think we've seen him recently, but uh, not this clear. This actually like bone color actually helps all his details pop out really nicely. So I'm really digging this actually. It looks really sweet. Oh, we got a translucent jelly eggy ghost. So fantastic, so awesome. I feel like my lighting is going to change a bunch in this video because I just keep shifting the camera around for like each figure. We've got a nice metal, very, very slick, very cool. It's got that nice like line going through it, which is really unique. I kind of like that. Oh, I love these blues. It's like glitter blue. I got another one recently in one of my other videos of this guy. Uh, no, not this guy, different one, the Mayan looking ghost guy, but this same color tone, this glittery blue, very sharp looking. Nice one. We've seen him before. Not going to focus on it too much. Not one of my favorites. This one either. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one, uh, but it's fine. It's a nice jelly, blue jelly. Very cool. We got him recently in a jelly red, but this is such a nice slick blue. Really, I've been digging the colors they've used just on the base stuff. Really, really nice. Really like him. Vicious? Yeah, this is vicious. Ooh, you look good too, but it's so weird how they switched up some of these jelly colors, it's such a darker orange. So weird how they did so many different variations of jellies in new gen. It's just crazy. They have like three different variants for oranges. Another one, yo, that is fire looking. He looks phenomenal. What's going on with his other hand though? Weird looking hand on this side. I can get it on this side a little bit. He's got like that third eye going on. Really sweet. Yeah, pumpkin. Classic pumpkin, just a red, no big deal. Ooh, look at you though. What is up with your nose? You got like a weird button nose. That's odd and interesting. All right, we got this guy again, the twin, which I freaked out about last time because I was unfamiliar with how this mold was set up. I, yeah, I mean, it's just a nice figure that I love now because of the story with not knowing about this and just freaking out about it. It's just humorous to me. So is this a glowy? Maybe this is a glowy. Can't quite tell in this lighting. We'll have to check it later. I believe I have this exact one in this like hot pink uh, coloring. So we'll see. Not a fan of this design though. Really weak design on those arms. I don't know. You could have made it the beefy boy a little bit better. We got Poet here. Again, not a fan of this coloration. Just like a gross brown. This is like the sweetie of the ghost verse here, so I'm not like the biggest fan. I do love this coloration of jellies though. This like lime green is phenomenal every time I see it. Another poet and another like base one. Pretty cool green on that one. This was a fantastic lot of all these guys. Super cool. Uh, ooh, this one's sweet. Oh man. This is a good figure. I like him a lot. This is Sharky. Is this says a is this just from the new gen i forget if he's in the new gen or if this is a buddy's thing i can't remember man we got a lot of the poet guy he's just showing up a lot in these things so funny must have been a very common one that's all right though we're just you know building the collection out of these guys no big deal this guy looks sweet again this coloration kind of hurts my eyes to look at but it's very shiny it looks like an oil slick of lime coloration really weird and hard to focus the camera has trouble on these guys look at this oh my gosh whoa it is a new gen ghost but it's a whistler with i don't know if you can see that he's got a hole straight on his freaking dome right smack dab in the middle of the figure you can see right through that is insane that is a wild whistler, just straight in there. A bubble, looks like you can actually see kind of where the bubble would have burst. That's wild. That's a really cool figure. I dig that. That's sweet. What an interesting variant. I love that. That is such a nice little find. I don't think I've seen like a whistler of new gen before. So that one's really interesting. This guy's sweet too. A little lopsided, a little lopsided, but I love the big huge eyes that the new gen monsters have they just look so sweet like that another good one i don't think i have this one either was he barfing i don't know what he's doing he's holding something what's he holding gotta look at that name up again for this one but a nice sharp red f22 phantasma 22 
And we've got, we've already seen him today, but this is just a black variation color. Very sharp. All right, we got Scream or something. I forget your name as well, but I've gotten a few of him lately. We've got another monster, very sharp with that beautiful, beautiful jelly red. Looks so cool. I love how these guys look in that red jelly. Super dope. And we got one more, which he's wild. He's super wild. He's got like a, he's got like Nightmare Before Christmas vibes, honestly. <laughs> He's got like the swirly top hat thing, very proportioned eyes, pointy and stuff. The teeth, man, he's sick looking. I'm really digging that one. Ah, oh, man, I try not to like get too used to the characters even sometimes on these series because they're just so cool to like discover all the new ones and stuff that I'm just not super familiar with. But I love all these new gen dudes. They're just so sweet. So, so cool. That is the whole lot a fantastic lot of new gen that I believe I only paid 15 bucks for the whole lot. Uh, not terrible considering all the nice choices we got of these. Really, really sweet. Some really interesting ones. By far the coolest one has to be this Whistler. So sweet. I love that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this thing. It's been fun doing these package openings. I'm not going to lie. It's just been nice to open up the packages a little bit quicker, send them out, show you guys what I've been getting in. And I'm, I just can't wait for some of these other ones. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, though. Leave a comment with which ghost or new gen or any of them was your favorite from this one. Oh, they keep falling off my shelf. I don't like it. It's going to break my laptop. If you watched all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate it very much. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of the package openings, more Go-Go's. You guys know I've been teasing a lot, and because a lot has still yet to be opened and are just sitting over here for nice, big, long videos of Go-Go fun. So stay tuned for that. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you guys in the next one.